put it on your stand. There you go. You got something behind your ear? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> if you're like me, and I feel like most people watching this, you're probably on a budget, which also means your studio toys and investments are also on a budget. So I figured I'd put together a video of what I did to make super cheap DIY soundproofing for your studio and it's mobile. I also wanna apologize for my studio if it looks like a mess on camera. I'm actually about to do a revamp slash rebuild. In fact, when that video's done, I'll put it in the description below. So if you don't see it down there, then like this video and subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so you'll know when that video gets posted. If you buy a 24 pack of these foam panels on Amazon, you can make four of these for approximately $8 each. I initially made three of these in a quick afternoon for my old studio, which you can see in this Instagram post in the background. And I cannot believe how well it worked. For the money that I put into it, it was, it was crazy. My old mix room was I think about 12 by 12 feet. Very small, flat parallel walls, low ceiling, and putting three of these up in the back of the room and then lining behind the studio monitors with just freestanding foam pads made an insane difference. So you can make a great improvement in your home budget studio for next to nothing. So what you'll need for this build are things you can probably find around your house or apartment, except for maybe the foam. So I purchased a 24 pack off of Amazon of just straight up foam, soundproofing, just real cheap stuff. It's one foot by one foot, and I got it for next to nothing. In fact, I'll put a link down below to the pack that I bought. The other thing you'll need on this build other than foam is cardboard. And the cardboard I used in this build was from a TV stand, which this one was built out of and also the cardboard box for my TV that was in my studio. And other things you'll need for this is some sort of adhesive spray, some twine or string, washers if you're wanting to make it mobile. And now you don't need washers, it's just what I wanted to use on my build. And something sharp that you can find in your house, I grabbed a nail, so stay tuned to watch me stab myself on accident. Okay, so the first thing I'll say about this build is it's very easy. The one downside I'd say is that it's kind of, I don't say fragile, but a little flimsy, but for the price, it, it's what you come to expect and it works just fine. So on the back side of this, it is a two foot by three foot long cutout of cardboard. And then all I did was just layer them appropriately so it kind of gave more of a aesthetic, you know, look to it with kind of mismatching every other rotation. Then I used the adhesive to spray on there, stick it down, and if that doesn't hold all the time, I would then also maybe grab a staple gun. Of course, you know, this is not gonna win any a beauty awards, but it will do the job. And in my studio, what I did to hold on the wall was I put contact strips on, which is basically just Velcro on the wall and then here so I could take them off and reline them if I wanted to. So that's the main idea behind it, is cardboard, two foot by three foot, or I guess any shape you want, adhesive, and then stick these on there. Now at the beginning, I said you can make this mobile. And that's kind of the fun thing with these is you can take them off your wall and then build almost like a mini makeshift vocal booth. The way I do it is I grab the sharp object. If you're using a needle or screw or something like that or an exacto knife, please be careful. Do not stab yourself on accident. Find a spot on the top. I would say maybe an inch and a half, two inches in. I'm going to try to aim for a low spot in the foam. Right about there. And then I'm just going to punch this through and you can see comes right through. I'm gonna find a spot equal on the other side of the middle divide. Should be about, let's say right here. Okay, same thing. Punch it through. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run string through this. And with that string, what you'll be able to do is you, if you have extra mic stands or boom stands sitting around, you can then place those up, hang these on them, and you kind of have, like I said, a makeshift vocal booth, or you can put them behind you for mixing or whatever your desire around a guitar amp. So the next thing is string. Just make sure you don't get too much string because you don't want to have a big sag from where the point of contact is on the stand to the top of your panel. So kind of guesstimate that. I feel like about a foot or so is appropriate. I'm not real good at tying knots, so I'm going to give myself a little leeway. Get your scissors, cut, string to the side. The next step is basically just to run the string through the holes. If you're like me, I'm going to use washers to fasten to the back side so the string doesn't just pull right through. So I'm going to run the string through, tie it to a washer, and pull that snug against the back of this. 
If you're maybe a past Boy Scout, you can probably tie a pretty sick knot and not have to worry about it coming through the backside. But me, I wasn't a Boy Scout. I'm gonna cheat and use a washer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this nail and I'm basically just gonna slide it back through that same hole to get it through. Okay, through just like that. Now for the other side. Just gonna wrap it around this. So now I've got the string here. Now you're thinking, well, oh, that's gonna look silly when I have this hanging back up on my wall. Well, the nice thing is if you want, you can kind of just run it back and up and in, and you're just gonna have a little bit of string hanging out. And of course, making this mobile is totally your option. You don't have to do this. This is just something that I did to kind of make them more flexible and versatile. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna kind of judge about how far I want extra, how far I want this to hang on you know, the stand or whatever. So I'm gonna give it maybe three inches. I'm gonna grab my washer, slide that one through, grab the other washer, do the same thing on the other side. And again, like I said, this is super budget DIY soundproof build. All right, now that I got two washers on, all I really have to do is tie the washers up and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna give these my best knot possible. All right, so I got my washers tied on here, just did one loop, one knot, nothing crazy. I left the excess on here just in case, um, if I wanna, you know, extend it, create more of a gap here, or, you know, if I'm happy with it in the end, I can just snip that off with some scissors. So again, you get the front build adhesive, slap it on, just cardboard, that's all you need. I then put command strips on here so I can put it on the wall. And then when I'm wanting to use this panel to either do soundproofing on a guitar amp, vocals, whatever the heck I want, I can then take it off of the wall and then hang it where I want it. See, so you got your hanging, put it on your stand. There you go, just like that. Of course, with your stand, you can hire it, lower it, put it close to the ground, whatever you need, but then suddenly you have a mobile soundproofing panel you can move wherever the heck you want. Over here, over here. That is how this works. Easy peasy cardboard. Slap some adhesive on some foam. Build yourself a little mobile hanging system and you've got yourself a, a room that's more treated and you have some flexibility with it. And to me, that's kind of the best combo because you don't want to put holes or rough up expensive, nice soundproofing unless you're not on a budget. And if that's the case, then you should have stopped watching this a while ago. But if you're like me and you can do some budget things in your studio that help a lot. And like I said, you're not gonna win any beauty pageants with it, but it does the trick. And like I said, the fact that you can then make it mobile is just, it's rad. If you found this useful and you enjoyed this cheap DIY, like the video, comment, subscribe, do all those things. And thank you so much for watching. And now I'm gonna disappear.